Hi guys, just a quick mention to all the guys that have taken out a YouTube membership and supported the channel. Thank you so much guys for the support. It really, really is appreciated. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. So thank you so much for the support. Just one more quick mention. If you're looking for a home in Star Citizen, find your way to our Discord channel. It really is a superb place to be. You won't look back. It is great fun with some great members. So guys, I look forward to seeing you there. Let's get on with today's video. Hi everybody, Space Junkie here. Going to be looking at the Drake Vulture today. There seems to be um, a little bit of confusion on how to use obviously the laser heads and also obviously when it comes to breaking down the actual carcass of a ship and that sort of stuff. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on today. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're actually going to look at changing the head for tractor beaming items to the vulture. Uh, all it seems to do at the moment is send things into a bit of a spin so it's not working as it's supposed to. Uh, so we're going to look at um, changing that to another abraid uh, scraper module. Now to find these scraper modules you need to get yourself down to Dumpers Depot or any of the platinum based stores where you can obviously pick up these actual scraper modules and swap them over. So I'm going to find myself to hurl up my way to Hurl L2 uh, where there's a platinum based store we're going to buy one of those heads. I'm going to talk you through how to change it. So I'll see you guys once we're at Herd L2. Okay, guys. So we've just made our way to Platinum Bay on Herl L2. Now, the mo the scraping modules are available at Platinum Bays and Dumpers Depots, from what I can see. Uh, so if we just go to Utility, scroll down. Here we go. Here's our two different scraping modules i'm going to go for a, another abraid i'm going to purchase and then i'm going to fit this to my ship so we'll come out of there we're going to hit f1 i'm going to go to vehicle loadout which hopefully is there because it's a bit obscured we're going to select our drake vulture we're going to go to utility now obviously we've got the cinch a braid, a cinch, and the actual tractor beam. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take off this tractor beam and we're going to put in the abrade. So we're going to equip that there. We're going to save our changes. So the tractor beam at this moment in time for me doesn't really have any use. Now I believe it's obviously for when you break the ship apart and it's about pulling the actual broken pieces of ship in towards your ship, but it doesn't really work at the moment. It just seems to send things into a bit of a spin so I recommend you get yourself to a platinum bay uh, again obviously you can there uh, arc l1 crew l1 crew l4 5 hurl l2 3 5 so they're all over the place anywhere that's got a platinum bay store you can buy obviously your new scraper module so highly recommend getting rid of the tractor beam for this moment in time and putting on uh, an abraid scraper module Right, so let's find our way to a salvage wreck and I will uh, bring you back in and show you how the system works. See you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back. So we've arrived at the salvage operation. So to get your scraper modules out, it is M on your keyboard. Now we're going to be using the Abrade or Braid, however you want to say it, scraper modules. Now again, haven't done any research into it or you know what's more efficient so you've obviously got the cinch or the abrade i prefer the abrade uh, so that's what i'm going to be using here so i'm going to scrape the ship now as you can see as you get closer these two little circles on the left and the right this is the amount of actual metal if you like on the whole left for you to peel off and as you can see as the actual mining heads work they go to zero so it's just telling you there's nothing left on that section or that panel of the ship and it's literally just a simple case of going around the ship making sure you take every single little bit off and obviously if you go off the target it'll tell you you can literally just go around like so you can use gimbal mode but if you push g for golf it literally locks the ship so the ship isn't moving around less chance of you bashing into it and you can obviously operate it just like this Okay guys, so I'm going to finish salvaging and scraping the rest of the ship and I'll bring you straight back in when it comes to uh, breaking the hull. I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, so we've scraped the ship 
what we're going to do now is we are going to start fracturing the hole. So what you need to do, you need to bring your mining heads out and you want to do Alt, Left Alt and W. So it'll be like this. And then you need to press your left mouse button. And as you can see, we are now fracturing the drake cutter. Get a little display in the middle, as you can see it goes up. And there we go. That is now broken. Oh. There's a few boxes in the back there. Not going to worry about those. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at breaking down these last few pieces. Okay, so now we want to break down the next part of our ships. If we do right click on our mouse and then hold the left mouse button there goes the small bits, in they come And there we go. If we move forward a little bit, we've got a couple of extra pieces here. Um, what do we got here? So a little bit of a component. So once again, if we hold right click, followed by left. Oh, it looks like we can't pick this bit up for some reason. Yeah, no, we can't. We can't get this bit. But. There you go, that bit, that bit fell in. But this bit here, for whatever reason, obviously something that we can't, we can't break. Yeah, so that's, that's not picking that bit up. So guys, I hope that all makes sense. And I really hope you found obviously this guide helpful. So if you're not sure, and you get a little bit stuck and you're not sure what to do, if you press escape, and go to your options, and if you get really confused if you go to control hints and turn that to yes it will give you the basics of what you need to do but obviously it doesn't talk you through the whole thing now once we've obviously got some boxes in our ship a fantastic quality of life now you don't need to keep running in and out of the back moving each and every single box which is absolutely brilliant i'm just going to go down now make sure you bring a tractor beam as always when you're doing obviously better salvage Hopefully we get off the ladder anytime soon. But what you've got is, you've got construction materials now and recycled materials. So we we'll do the construction materials first. So we're going to ask it to eject. It will fill a box. And then it brings it out. And then obviously what you're going to use is your multi-tool or whatever you've got on you just to move that into your cargo grid. Now you've got 13 SCU worth of cargo but what you can do is you can fill up all of these bits and pieces uh, regarding obviously the 13 SCU and then what I'd suggest is uh, you go out do another salvage contract and obviously you get another 13 SCU worth of boxes actually in your compactor so you can go and sell 13 come back to your ship empty it back out again and sell the next lot I reckon it's uh, the best way of you, uh, uh, making the most of your time so guys, I really hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. I hope it's answered all the questions where people are a little bit confused on what to do and how to break down the ships. Uh, if you've got any comments or I'm not sure about anything, do leave a, co leave a comment, guys. I'll always come back to you. Uh, if you've obviously enjoyed this, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you think I deserve it, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. Don't forget, guys, we've got a Discord channel, which is absolutely fantastic. Really, really friendly place to be. We do everything we can to help you out. Uh, just starting getting into events and that sort of stuff as well. But I hope to see you there as well. So you guys, you take care and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye for now.